Hey, Arn, give me another dime, will you? You're a dime shy, mister. So your machine owes your cash register a dime, okay? Not okay. That's not my machine. Don't tell me your troubles, mister. You're all alike. No respect. What did you say about respect? Now, I didn't hear that. Let go of my arm or I'll call a cop. Is that a threat? Pokes make me sick. You think the world owes you just because you got loud mouths and you need a haircut? Hey, man. You're losing your cool. Run in for a lousy dime. Besides, I just have to. You know something, Marty? I think this machine's crooked. Fingerprints all over the place. Counter, dishes, beer bottles, coffee cups. All smeared, useless. How'd you guess? Because you're a Jonah, Ed. You think negative thoughts. We're dusting the payphone. Good luck. The eight dollars and fifty-three cents. Checks out to the penny with a register tape. That is, if you want to count this pussy ashes. Ooh. Hot money, huh? Ed. Your department. Uh-huh. Victim's wallet, in fact? Seems to be. Well, the uh, motive wasn't robbery, that's for sure. There were two of them. Tab's a buck forty. Well, there's only a dollar thirty in change here. You don't think that? Not for a dime, Sam. Start a background check on him, will you? Hey, maybe they knew him, had it in for him. Look, uh, suppose you had it in for somebody. You wanted to kill him, right? Now, would you stop and eat first, uh, pay your bill, and then smash the machine? I can tell at a glance. Three items missing. The imitation alligator wallet, a three-colored ballpoint pen, and a toy doll. If you ask me, it's a goofball. What do you mean? Well, uh, that a man might have been killed for, for that kind of junk. Not one item in that machine is worth more than one buck. Retail. You gonna gawk at that thing all day? 
thought you said you just tapped him. When I tap them, they stay tapped. That way we stay cool, free, and ready. <laughs> ready for what? Look, Arnie, now, I don't want nothing like last night. What do you want, to go back to being a cracker like when I found you? Hey. Hey, listen. Maybe tonight's the night. Maybe the night we flame out, huh? Like we always planned? Arnie, now you start that again. Huh? How you suppose it'll happen, huh? Maybe we'll be scared at first. That'll, that'll make it all the more exciting, like, uh, like flying a jet flat out way, way up in the sky. And then watching that ground come up to meet you, and then whoom! Maybe when the time comes, I'll have to straighten your spine, buddy. You know. Meanwhile, I've got to find us a live one for tonight. Get us a beating money. Okay, Jim, what's bugging you? 607, did you launch my last transfer? Just tell me. Why? <laughs> you can't expect neat little answers all the time. No, but something, anything. If they knew him, had it in for him, that I could understand. Or if they're out to rob him. But this just doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Well, then why kill him? It's stupid and senseless. Because somebody is stupid and senseless. Someone who's not out for money or revenge. No, I can't believe it, Sam. For a dime or some lousy prize in that machine. There must be some real motive. Why? Because your code, your uh, sense of decency says there is? Look, everybody's not like you or me or most of us. That's what makes this kind of a killer so deadly. Guys like you and I, gray before our time. Very lucky, ma'am. I beg your pardon? Well, you've got a good, good looking car and nice looking kid. It's not that I'm trying to get fresh or anything, it's just that I like to see nice things, you know? It makes me feel good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Elena Carter, 505 Skyview. Into the kitchen. Hurry up, hurry up. Hello? Hello? Elena Carter? Yes. This is the best friend you've got in the whole world. Who is this, please? You know why? Because I'm going to make sure your kids are safe. Who are you? Now listen closely. I want you to go into the bathroom. I want you to get into a nice warm tub. Take lots of time. And do the powder and the perfume and the lipstick bit, you know. Now, just a minute. Then I want you to put on your prettiest dress and meet me at Al and Walt Drive-In at 6 o'clock in the parking lot. Who are you? I'm going to call the police. You do that. They can't protect your kids forever. I'll just wait. And then you'll never know when it'll happen. What? What are you threatening to do? Guess. <laughs> We 
got it. There it is. Perfect right index print. Belongs to a felony assault suspect. His name is Arnold William Wyatt. Wanted in Sioux Falls, victim was a young mother. He terrorized her with telephone threats against her kids. Forced her to go places to meet him and never showed up. And one night he did. That's all you got on him, Dad? Well, description, but he sounds like every other good-looking young guy on the streets. Uh, Jim, you better check records on identification and see if there have been any uh, similar threatening phone calls, huh? I'm glad you decided to make the complaint, Mrs. Carter. Now, uh, about your children and yourselves. We can provide indefinite protection for you. We can and we will, Mrs. Carter. That's what the police are for, protection. Yes, Ed. And I'm thinking what that kind of protection does to our children. Mrs. Carter, the officers assigned will, will stay in the background as much as possible. But how can I tell them their lives are in danger? How can I explain that to them without scaring them half to death? No, I won't have it. You what? There's only one solution, Ed. I'm going to be at that drive-in tonight. All the cops, we are sitting in the middle of a rat trap. Well, that makes the stew all the more hairy, huh? Besides, we got enough rat poison in the back. You've done this before, haven't you? Maybe. Hey, buddy, what do you think? That guy over there, is he a cop? Or maybe that one? Just drove in. Thank you. Oh, man, when I turn them on, they really come running, don't they? Wait, is this all we do? Just sit and stare at her? For now. Well, what kind of a charge are you going to get from just staring at her? Use your imagination, Bluehead. Shh, man, you are sick. You go to all this trouble just to scare some dame? I told you, this is for openers. A little bit later, we'll ease out of here and phone her old man. What for? To tell him she didn't show up. Then when he panics and swears that she's at the drive-in, I say, what drive-in, stupid? I told her the farmer's market. <laughs> then later, I'll call her and tell her that her old man made the stupid mistake. Yeah, right, right. Then, then after the joke, we, we cut out. We leave town, right? No. We escalate. Like that woman in Sioux Falls. Only this time I got a buddy. This one I won't mess up. You did do this before, didn't you? Hi. Name's Jim Briggs. I'm collecting for the University Scholarship Fund. We'd appreciate any... Well, any help you could give us. Sure. There you go. Thank you. I think that was a cop. He spotted that jerky toy of yours. Miss! Watch out back and see if they're trailing us.
Let's move. Notify Control 6, we're in pursuit. Unit 9. Head south to Roscoe. Any units in area, please intercept. Special Unit 9, this is Control 6. 7W54 proceeding southeast on Woodland. Should intercept an area of municipal steam plant. Maybe this is it, buddy Yo, Hang on. I think this must be the place. Grab the bag. You pick up that bag and move. Go! Get on! Stay back here and snipe it out with him. We'll get him eventually. But naturally, it's not going to help my partner. If he's still alive. I'm going to 
going up there. I think you got a headache now. All right, it was a dumb play. Yep. I don't know, seeing that guy laying that barricade, I guess I lost my head. Yep. Suppose you're gonna rack me up for it. Nope. I'm just gonna tell your old man. Come on, Sam. You don't have to make it a family affair. Well, he'll chew me out till I'm 90. That's the general idea. Incidentally, do you know it's a misdemeanor to solicit funds without a permit? I got one. Money goes to the scholarship fund first thing tomorrow. Well, what do you know? You know, you may shape up after all, partner. They have a little paper to soften the noise, partner. Why not? <laughs> 